Hello, everybody. Um, I was approached by one of the uh, subscribers this channel asking about uh, the histological subtypes of a cancer and whether we can use the histological subtypes of any cancer in a survival analysis using SEER data. Uh, the answer is yes, we can use the histological subtypes of a certain cancer uh, in order to predict uh, the survival um, of this cancer according to the different levels of the histological type. Or in other words, we can predict whether the percentage of people who survived for a certain amount of time is significantly more or less than a significant uh, than a, a certain uh, percentage of people with a certain histological type. Uh, the survival analysis <coughs> is dependent on the statistical software that you use. So I will, uh, in this video, I will show you the data that you need to incorporate into the SEER data set in order to undergo a survival analysis. But uh, in order to complete this step, according to the statistical software that you use, we can do the actual survival analysis in another video but now we are trying to create a data set with the variables that you need uh, to uh, conduct a survival analysis so this is the seer stat software like you see and we will use a a certain data set or database with the plus option so i'll choose this one the C Research Plus data from eight registries uh, from 1975 to 2019 in the selection uh, tab. I will try to select a type of cancer that is not that common in order to get a few number of cases. So in the site and morphology, we can, um, for example, in the International Classification of Diseases in Oncology, the third edition, we can choose like cancer tongue for example and then we can click here okay so now we have chosen um, people with tongue cancer and then we can limit the number of uh, cases a little bit by limiting the year of diagnosis to like one year so in the year of diagnosis I can choose the year 2000 maybe so now we're going to uh, choose people in the US that have tongue cancer uh, and who were diagnosed in the year 2000. Let's limit it even more by choosing the uh, histological uh, the histological uh, like diagnosis as like here the diagnostic confirmation. Let's choose positive histology. So we're choosing the people with tongue cancer who were diagnosed in the year 2000 and who were confirmed by positive histology. Okay, in the table uh, tab, this is the most critical part of the data set in which we will use actually the data that we need to conduct the survival analysis. So like I usually do, I start by the patient ID and I choose, a, choose it as a column variable and then um, well answering the question that i was asked if we can use the histological subtypes i will choose a variable that will allow me to see the histological subtype that i want to use which is the international classification diseases in oncology the third edition histolo histology and behavior so this is uh, this is better than histologic type ICD-03 because this will allow you to see actually the, the subtype whereas the above one this logical type ICD-03 will give you a number and then you will look this number up to see what it means so now we'll choose that as a colon so we will consider this histological type as like the predictor variable and now now we will use the variables in which we need to conduct a survival analysis. In order to conduct the survival analysis, we will use four additional variables. We will first go to the cause of death and follow up option, and we will choose four, uh, four variables. The SEER cause specific death classification, which, we will, which will help us predict the 
cancer specific cause of death we will make this as a column and then we will choose the CR other cause of death classification which will enable us to predict the overall survival and we will use this as a column uh, the next most important variable is the survival months we will make this as a column and last but not least the vital status recode this should be our fourth variable so these four variables these last four variables are the variables that you need according to the statistical software that you have to help you conduct a survival analysis uh, all we have to do next is create a name for our output so let's say like tongue survival and then click execute so now this here is collecting the data uh, 518 patients is good and now let's examine the resulting data set so we have the patient ID in this column and then the ICD-03, the International Classification of Disease and Oncology, third edition, according to histology and behavior. So you see here that uh, this is a number, 8070-3. This means squamous cell carcinoma, and it, it's recurring. So next we have 8071-3, which is squamous cell carcinoma keratinizing. And then we'll have other numbers. It's not only 70 and 71, so the here is... 8072 squamous cell carcinoma large cell non-keratinizing and other other numbers and other meanings of those numbers other classifications of those numbers so in your statistical software you can like choose one or two statistics one or two histological subtypes and then conduct a survival analysis to see the differences in the people who survive after like a year two years three years five years ten years between uh like people with a certain histological subtype and people with another histological subtype the variables that you will need is the seer cause specific death classification the seer other cause death uh, classification the survival months and the vital status usually in the statistical software you convert you will convert these variables into zeros and ones and you will convert also this variable into zeros and ones and the vital statistic into zeros and ones and then you will conduct a survival analysis in that statistical software which we will not do in this uh, video because we just wanted to tell you that the histological subtype can be used to conduct a survival analysis it can be the predictor value of a survival analysis and the four variables that I've mentioned here are the variables that you need to conduct a survival analysis using SEER data. I hope you find this video useful. And if you want us to go along with this analysis to do the actual survival analysis in further videos, please comment in the comment section below and I will see if I can do that in the near future. Thank you very much.